SAT 2023 might be the craziest SAT year we've ever had so far. So let's talk about how we can prepare for it and get the best possible score we possibly can. 2023 is the return of the overall SAT, the, the big SAT, the SAT that you know everyone is like, oh my God, it's the craziest exam ever. And you guys will be talking about, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? The SAT has been here last year, this year, year before that. Well, you guys, if you understand that for the longest time because of COVID, you know, a lot of colleges started deeming SAT as test optional. And as a result, SAT's popularity has been on a steady decline. But now, in 2022, we saw a upswing back towards the popularity of the SAT. A lot of people are, you know, once again, taking the SAT. A lot of colleges like MIT are like, hey, you know, we require the SAT. We better see the SAT score sent to us, right? And now, 2023 is where the SAT will reach its peak popularity, just like it used to. And now, a lot of students will be taking it. So this year is going to be insane. See, 2021, 2022, were like the forgiving years. Like, oh, we understand it's COVID. The SAT score doesn't matter as much, but no, 2023 is absolutely no excuse. They want 1600. So what's one way the SAT 2023 might be a little different? Well, digital SAT is something that we all know of, we all have heard of, and we all might be either really happy for or really scared for. So how is a digital SAT working? I created a video on that already, but for those who are international, like international SAT test takers, you guys will be facing the digital SAT first before US test takers. So if you're an international student, real quick, calm down below with digital SAT, just so I know how many students are actually about to take the digital SAT if you haven't already. So if you're international, remember guys, the digital SAT is basically the exact same thing, just that now you're on a computer. That's that's it. Another cool thing about the SAT 2023 is that this exam will have up-to-date passages as well as problems. And you know, everything is more is more fresh, more new. If you guys heard about the 2022 SAT that was a mystery in December, it, it's talked about like something related to Squid Game, which is a, you know something that's pretty recent. So 2023 will have you know more passages, more recent you know, events, more recent problems. So it's gonna be a newer SAT, and I feel like a lot of students will benefit from that because if you read a story and it's interesting, you know how much of a difference that'll make on your SAT reading score? So College World, if you're watching us, please make your SAT reading passages a little more relevant to today's time. It will help a lot. But now let's talk about the standard SAT since a lot of US test takers will be just taking the standard SAT that we all know, love, or hate. The standard SAT guys, just like the digital SAT, just like any SAT, it's really the same concepts slash um, problems, right? You're still going to have to be doing systems of linear equations where you're gonna have to, you know, scale the equations, add or subtract. This is all stuff I talk about my ST math course, link in the description below. You guys already know this. So that type of stuff will not go away. All right, so don't think, oh my God, now I have to learn new patterns, new tricks, rotation needs to make a new SAT math course. No guys, it's the same stuff. All right, you're still gonna be able to raise your score like 200, 300 points if you listen to me. And on that note, I want you guys to have that same study routine. All right, if you guys have watched my study routine videos in the past, you wanna keep that up for 2023 SAT, right? It's in March. You have so much time right now. You can sign up for tutoring. You can check out my course. You can uh, check out notes. You can take 30,000 SATs from now till March as practice if you wanted to. 30,000? So much preparation tasks, I want you guys to really understand that and really take advantage of that. Don't be that student, because I know there's gonna be a lot of you who start messaging me February like 20th, the three weeks before the exam, but oh my God, I'm gonna fail, I need help. You see, you wanna optimize your study routine so you don't end up that in that way. So talking about the study routine, all right, the best way to do it is to study both SAT math and reading. All right, that's just a given, right? Don't try to be the student who's like, you know what, I'm gonna take SAT twice. The first time I'm just focus on math, the second time I'm just focus on reading. And then I put two and two together, super score, and boom, I get like 1600. Yeah, the thing is most of the times, either the first or second time, you're not gonna get the score you expected, and then you're gonna be trying to take it a third time and just gonna go downhill from there. All right, you wanna make sure you study SAT math and reading, like, and the best way to do that is study ST math one day and study ST reading the other day, right? You wanna alternate days. Okay, I'm not saying study math and reading the same day, no. Have maybe two days of math and two days of reading, then practice exam, then two days of math, two days of reading, then practice exam, right? That's that's what you wanna do. And I actually, this is the exact curriculum that my tutoring company, Smart Minds Tutoring, follows, where we still have students study two days of math, two days of reading, and then practice exam. That routine has helped them a ton. I want you guys to follow that exact same routine. Now that you know your exact study routine, how to get you know all these tips and tricks and patterns in your brain, how to take the exam and what you need to do, whether you're taking a standard SAT or digital SAT, now that you know all these things, you guys have absolutely no excuses to get the best possible SAT score you can in these next three months. All right, I want you guys to practice. I want you guys to do all that you possibly can to make sure you get the score you want so you can get into whatever college you want, get whatever scholarships you want, and that way you can get whatever career you want and make millions of dollars. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite SAT tip I gave in this video. Thank you all for watching. Peace.